substantive testing, you might think, well, great, I don't have to think about the controls <laughs> or testing the controls or thinking about uh, the internal controls or the inherent risk because I'm just going to do all the substantive testing anyways. Well, it, that's not necessarily, that's not really the case. We still have to know the controls because that's part of the, the process that's going to fill our bucket that we need of audit evidence in order to issue our opinion. Publicly traded companies will use an independent register, registrar, a transfer agent, and dividend disbursement agent to process and record equity transactions. So in that case, if we're talking about a publicly traded company, these individuals will be involved as we go through that formal process within a publicly traded company. So relevant information about equity transactions may be confirmed with them. That's great for us and part of the process, part of the reason that is there is a type of internal control, a type of regulation for publicly traded companies. Within the audit process, it of course gives us these individuals, these kind of bureaucratic type of institutional individuals outside of the organization that we can then help uh, get an understanding of these transactions with. Now we'll consider assertions and the control 